Do you remember not so long ago when I met an octopus named Johnny and we became the bestest of friends? We played hide and seek, we inked, slimed each other and played some more and then supposedly I ate her at the very end. Let's see what the new crew think of that. G'day people, because we had such a wonderful response for this episode or this little excerpt of an episode, I thought I'd show the crew to let them know what type of a person I am. Okay, a carer and a sharer, you mm. might say. All right, let's watch. I was lonely and lost in my life, people. I was searching for something and yet I didn't know what that something was. And then I met my new friend. She would hide out in the tiniest of holes. But it's wow. So cool. She tried to hide, change colour and swam some more. We was like peas and carrots, people. I named her Johnny. She was my very, very bestest friend. Boy, could she hide though, people. But I would wait and eventually she would come out and look at me. Ah, the love I could see in her eyes. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> Wouldn't you just love to have a friend like that? Jenny, That's you said? Cool. Johnny. Johnny. Yeah, from Forrest Gump. Mm. Jenny. Johnny. Oh. Yeah, but Jenny. Johnny. Wow, the change of the color. I had so much fun that day. She was excellent. How long was it? Oh, hour. Wow. Easy. And then I had a crazy idea. I would go back and be with my friend Jenny again. Play the games we like to play, like hide and seek, Aww, and who could like slime the other the most. <laughs> yes, I would be complete with my new friend. So that's what I did. I went back and she was delicious. I knew this was going to no. come. Yeah, okay. I, I knew, knew it was no. coming. It was too nice. No. <laughs> Everything was going too well. Oh, that's so mean. So what do you think? I think it's really sad. It's, it is. Now, people, this uh, whole episode backfired quite a bit, but I... What you see is what you get on this vlog. It's all off the cuff. There's nothing scripted unless it's stupendously obvious. And this is stupendously obvious. And I was simply having fun. If you look at the size of the barbecued octopus, okay. it's about a third of the size of Jenny. And so I thought it's so obvious. <gasps> I mean, you'll get shocked at the start and go, oh, but then you'll go, hang on. There's so much difference in size, it's not the same one. So let me explain what happened. I did have fun with Jenny and Jenny is still alive and well and yeah. we might meet her, okay? We'll try to meet her, but you know, they don't last that long, these um, octopus. That was about, that was a few months back. What happened was, I filmed this and it was all good and I think that day or the day after or something, a uh, little Guna Indian came up in the Kayuku. He had one octopus for sale, right? And I don't normally buy octopus anyway. I don't normally buy seafood from them. I usually help them out with their spear guns or I give them some rice or water or whatever like that. Anyway, they're in such desperate times here. There's hardly any yachts visiting and they just need support. And so I bought it and I gave him a, a, a tip as well. I think I paid five dollars for one little octopus. And so I bought it just to support the local community. So it's not Jenny at all, okay? Mm. So the captain isn't that bad. Um, yeah, so that's the story. Boy, did I get a lot of hate mail that week. In fact, I still get a lot of hate mail. Well, well, it's, it's, it's diminishing, but that first week, oh my goodness. It's a bit like I, it's a bit like I insulted the Pope and there's a whole bunch of Catholics jumped on board and wanted to lynch me, or probably a bit worse, because I think uh, Catholics have a sense of humor. 
um, you know, Pope has a beanie and stuff like that. Don't write in, people. Uh, it was almost like I said something bad about the leader of the Church of Scientology and he sent out all his minions uh, to, you know, do harm, damage, kill, destroy, whatever. I mean, there was no real death threats, but they were just short of death threats. So people can get very emotional during these, um, well, during my episodes. I, I've seen that a lot. Um, no doubt because of the, the popularity of the, that octopus um, movie. So you just have to take my episodes with a grain of salt, people. Don't get so, so upset. And then there was this Vagabond fan. Oh my God. Um, I should actually, I don't know if I can, I don't know how to do it anyway, you do, I don't know. But let me just give you the gist of it. Well, first of all, uh, I was nothing short of the Antichrist, and perhaps, I'm paraphrasing here, and perhaps if I had any karma at all, uh, it would be used for the devil's underpants. So, it was a bit like that. It wasn't exactly in those words, but I'm reading between the lines. No, I didn't even have to read between the lines. It was pretty pretty graphic and then they spun off that and obviously they've got a gripe about how terrible my vlog is this is not the greatest vlog it's not even halfway there it's um it's a work in progress lots of work much not much progress but then they were saying this you're nothing like vagabond nothing like this and ah, oh, you should well basically just die uh interesting thank you for the um inspiring uh, thoughts and words uh, I think I might have written, you ought to write, um, you know, Christmas cards for Hallmark. And I think they retorted back with something even more vicious. But anyway, in actual fact, they were paying me a compliment. They said, you're nothing like Vagabond. Well, yes, we're not. And I'm so glad we're not. And not because I don't think anything, I don't think anything bad about Vagabond. We're just not Vagabond. We're us. Or me. And that's about it. So... I'm sorry about all the people getting so emotional. Well, I shouldn't say I'm sorry. As I said, this vlog is about off-the-cuff stuff, but when it's blatantly obvious, and I think 99% realised it was blatantly obvious, and they went, ah, oh, shock, ah, and they thought it was a good laugh. I like those type of viewers. Uh, so good on you, most of my fans. Uh, for the the one or point one percent that get really really upset maybe you want to go somewhere else